it's Wednesday, and I'm Casey, and um, I'm going to answer some questions for you. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, one of the questions was about jealousy in relationships, and, um, well, honestly, um, I can be a pretty jealous person. Um, I've really been working on it and trying not to be so much. Um, with my last relationship, uh, I was trying really hard not to be, and um, once I finally got comfortable with the idea that my girlfriend was, um, I guess, kind of more than friends with this other person, um, it just the whole thing backfired on me, and um, yeah, so in general, um, I can be really jealous, and um, it's not something that I'm proud of or that I like. Um, it's not necessarily that I'm even really territorial or like a control freak or anything, um, but that's just kind of how I am. Um, I am a very monogamous person, um, and I don't really... I, I can understand like polyamory and uh, things like that, but that's just not, that's just not me. Um, like, in terms of, like, casual flirting and whatnot, I mean, like, if it's your best friend, um, like, yeah, that's fine, you know. Yeah. <laughs> but if it's somebody that you may or may not have some kind of romantic interest in, that doesn't quite fly with me. Um, I don't necessarily do anything about it, because I tend to be passive-aggressive. Um, but, yeah, that's, that's kind of where I stand on, um, on jealousy in relationships. Um, uh, another question, so how do you do drag? Um, actually, that's a really interesting question. Um, at school, we just had a drag ball last Wednesday, which is why I uploaded so late, I'm sorry. Um, and before that, I would, you know, do the mascara trick with for the facial hair and stuff like that, and, um, it was great. I mean, for me, it was one of the only times where I felt like I could really be myself and portray myself as I wanted to be seen without the hormones, because I didn't have testosterone at that point. Um, but this past week, it was really weird, because it's like, well, it's a drag ball. How am I going to dress? What am I going to do? So, um, I just pretty much ended up going like this, um, <laughs> and just kind of didn't do drag at all, um, because I guess now, for me, drag would be me in a dress, which I don't think you could pay me enough money to do that again. Um, that would just be really awkward, uh, and not fun. Um, let's see, JT's question was, what color underwear are you wearing? Um, so I'm wearing boxers. And they are navy blue with a little white plaid stripey thing going on. So, uh, I know, that's pretty sexy. Um, so. <laughs> anyway, um, and the next question is, when did you realize that you were transgender and when did you come to accept it? Um, for me... And this kind of starts out the way that most trans people's story starts out, in the sense that, you know, I knew that when I was little, something something was up. Um, being, rather, you know, yeah, pretty much being male was a much stronger preference over being female. I mean, like, I could live with being female, but it wasn't fun. I wasn't happy. Um, whenever my brother and I would play, uh, we would switch the gender roles so that I would be the male, he would be the female. And, um, same thing with, uh, kids on the playground. Like, I would do anything to not have to play, like, the mother role or the daughter role or, like, hell, I would rather be the dog. So, um, that's kind of how it was, uh, when I was little. Um, I think my favorite childhood memory is, um, I think when I was about seven or so, my parents let me get this, this really short haircut and I looked like a boy. I was thrilled. And, um... I held the door open for this old man one time, and he's like, oh, well, thank you, sir. You're so sweet. And that made my day. Like, I had this giant smile on my face, and I'm like, mom, mom, guess what? And she's like, okay, but you're a girl. And I'm like, Phew. so. 
Um, and it didn't really even occur to me um, until a couple of years ago that I was really, you know, transgender. Um, what had happened is I'd been through this really rough depression, and I didn't know why. I didn't know what was happening. And so shortly um, after uh, I had an inpatient stint, so at, shortly after that, I was lying on the couch um, with the dog watching the Mori Povich show, and uh, the show happened to be on uh, F2Ms. And um, at that point, I knew that um, there were such things as like drag queens and uh, transvestites, but I didn't know really of anything about um, transgender people or uh, transsexuals, um, only what the media taught me as them being like, you know, weirdos and stuff that we know is not true. Um, so anyway, I saw that and my jaw dropped to the floor and I'm like, holy crap, this is me. And from that point on, I pretty much kind of started freaking out because like, that's me, and you know, I knew what I had to do, and I was in denial for a long time. I think that was like two years worth of denial, and then it just got to the point where um, I had to do something about it, or you know, I don't know what would have happened. So um, I think that defining moment would be that show, and uh, I'm going to post the link to that because it's actually uh, on YouTube, so I'm going to post the link to that um, in the little description thingy, um, wherever that happens to be. Um, in terms of accepting it, um, to be completely honest, I'm not really sure that I even have accepted it and that I have accepted myself like this. Um, granted, being transgender is a lot more comfortable for me than being female. Um, you know, I like how I'm seen, I like how I pass. But the thing that I don't like is that because I pass, I think that if people knew that I was transgender, just the whole lack of education around it, that they would automatically see me as some kind of freak and um, who knows what might happen. So, um, so I mean, I honestly haven't really accepted it yet. Um, or rather, I've, I've accepted it, but I don't necessarily like it. Um, so I guess that's that's my question for everybody else, is, um, so you know that you're trans, and uh, you obviously accept it to some degree, but are you comfortable being trans or not? So um, that's my spiel, and uh, I will see you next Wednesday. And uh, until then, I uh, hope you have a good week. See you later.